it can catch you off guard. Tech news, it can hit you like a brick. Tech news, it will keep you informed. Tech news, this is Netlink Daily Tech News. AMD held their new Horizon live stream in Austin, Texas to reveal more details about the tech company's next gen of CPUs officially called Ryzen. Specs for the highest end Ryzen chip are as follows. It will have 8 cores with 16 threads, it runs a base clock of 3.4 GHz, the cores will have 20 megs of L2 and L3 cache, and the whole thing will run on the AM4 platform at 95 watts TDP. The new chips will offer 5 features under AMD's Sense MI technology. Those features include neural net prediction, smart prefetch, peer power, precision boost, and extended frequency range. AMD also had a few demos to run during the live stream, starting off with a render demo of Blender against an Intel i7-6900K. In this demo, the Ryzen chip was able to match the performance of the Intel chip. Up next was a handbrake demo where Ryzen finished 5 seconds faster than the Intel setup. AMD also showed off some VR content, gaming at 4K on Battlefield 1 on the Titan X, some 3D modeling in ZBrush, and even gaming while streaming on a Ryzen system at the same time. But before the stream was over, AMD CEO Lisa Su gave the audience a sneak peek at a Ryzen system running with a Vega card playing the new Battlefield DLC Rogue One at 4K. All these juicy details, but still no word on pricing. Oh well. The Ryzen chips are on track to launch Q1 of 2017. Looks like Google is pumping the brakes on its self-driving cars. Those cute koala bear looking things with no pedals or steering wheels is being put on pause for now. But isn't all that self-driving tech going to go to waste? No, apparently not. Google announced today a new company called Waymo. Waymo is focused less on building self-driving cars and more focused on the software for self-driving cars. Waymo plans to partner up with existing automakers to bring its self-driving tech to cars that have actual steering wheels. The decision to ditch building actual cars without pedals or steering wheels came straight from both the CEO Larry Page and CFO Ruth Parat since they determined that the idea was impractical. But I think it's safe to say that whether or not Google wants to build actual cars or not, autonomous driverless cars just got way more interesting. Uh -huh. See what I did there? And that's not the only Google news that we have today. Remember Google Brillo? It was the Android based Internet of Things initiative. Well today Google has announced that Brillo will now be known as Android Things and they're also dropping a developer preview. The dev preview is offering turnkey support for the Intel Edison, NXP Pico, and the Raspberry Pi 3. Android Things joins the Android family of Android TV, Android Auto, and Android Wear. With this announcement today, Android Things will be coming out of its closed invite program and we should see a public source code release soon. If you are interested, you can download the new dev preview now. <laughs> oh, you know what it's time for. Time for lightning <laughs> round. <laughs> Thanks, Dylan, for the lightning round submission. If you have a version of our quick news section, hit us up on Twitter. A new video teaser from Faraday Future, Faraday Future, eh, may be teasing their new vehicle's performance against a Bentley, Ferrari, and a Tesla. I mean, it's kind of hard to believe they did actual testing, so yo. Faraday, hit me up. I'll drive those cars for you to, you know, double check your results. Synaptics unveiled the industry's first optical fingerprint scanner for smartphones and tablets today. The sensor, the FS9100, has the ability to work through a millimeter of cover glass. Neil Young's fancy portable Pono Pono music player will be launching an adaptive bitrate streaming service. Wait, the, the Pono is still kicking around? People actually bought those? The Overwatch new seasonal event Winter Wonderland is out now, so like, update your consoles and PCs, people! That Nutcracker Zenyatta skin isn't gonna unbox itself. And Corsair announced their first NVMe SSD, the 4 Series MP500. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NSAX forum post linked down below. Why are magicians so bad at making movies? Because they're always misdirecting. 
Thanks, Aaron. If you've got something for us to ta- us to say, tweet at us with hashtag NCIX. Yo, dog. Psst. Hey, do you want a chance to win a 6800K CPU? Tune in to our Twitch channel this Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific for more details on how to win. This week, we'll be benchmarking the system that we built live on the stream last Thursday, and then next Thursday, we'll be checking out the gaming performance of the PC. So again, this Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific, on twitch.tv slash NCIXOfficial for your chance to win this and to see us talk about numbers and other geeky stuff related to PCs. All right, that's it for Nailing Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over that way. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment down below for fans with benefits. And subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Tech News.